walking this trail with ex Maoist soldiers heading up to their remote village. It was spectacular, it was breathtaking. This is Bobby, a former rebel soldier who served in the Nepalese Civil War, a bloody, protracted conflict that lasted from 1996 to 2006, pitting the Maoist rebels against the king's army. Though it would be a stretch to say the rebels were united by a Maoist ideology, they at least united under the banner of a better life for villagers. Yaman was the leader of a rebel unit and the head of his village. This is his home, where he held court over a long evening of conversation and the local Rukshi. Oftentimes in the games, we, especially when we construct the narrative, we really think about things from the protagonist's perspective. What was interesting to me was to meet the people who were affected by the war and just to hear their personal stories about how the, how the conflict affected their lives and, and moved them in different ways. If we're going to make a credible environment, not just make something like beautiful and three-dimensional, but to try and like to fill it with with life, to actually go and see the people who lived it, to have them welcome us into their homes and villages and get to experience their stories about their time in Nepal and to be able to like live with them. The things that we experience, like you wouldn't get them from anywhere else other than being on the ground and living it in the moment. It was an incredible experience. It was a strange return to Kathmandu for a final night and a visit to Pashupati Temple, one of Hinduism's holiest temples, and a place where people go to burn their dead. It quickly turned surreal. There were sadhus who spent decades living and worshipping at the temple, and bodies being cremated with ash pluming everywhere.
fires are really burning and it's like breathing it in. But I know this is this is human ash and it's great. It's kind of overwhelming, it's very bizarre. And when we came back, we looked at the game and we were like, it felt cliche and there was something kind of artificial about it. I think what we've been able to do is, is to share with the team the extra details to make it feel like a real place instead of like the Disneyland version um, of Nepal. Exiting the temple, the challenge of turning the incredible mysticism and stunning surrounding settings into a true-to-life gaming experience became very real. This was the cathartic element we were searching for, and it was found in Nepal's most far-flung regions and furthest corners.